everyone. Welcome to week three of the six week footwork challenge. If you haven't heard about this challenge, make sure you do check out the introduction video as well as week one and week two where we did front court and mid court footwork. So just a bit of background if you don't know, I'm normally a right hander, but I'm learning to do footwork left handed to put myself in someone else's shoes who perhaps haven't, hasn't done as much footwork as I have during their lifetime. So I'm doing a before and after left-handed footwork shot, a video, just to see how much I can improve in six weeks. So my challenge to you is to follow along with this challenge and make sure that you practice all your footwork and see the differences you can make within six weeks. So today is the start of week three and in week three we'll be doing rear court footwork. So with our rear court footwork, we're going to be doing both attacking and defensive positions. Okay, so what we'll do first is I'll do it right-handed as per normal to show you how it looks right-handed. Then I'll switch to my left hand and see how it looks from there and see if I can make it as natural as my right-handed footwork. We're gonna start off with the attack and then we'll go into defense later. So first of all, let's go for the attacking footwork. do the forehand side you can either change your legs or not change your legs I'll show you what I mean by this so after the attacking backwards work when you come forward you can either step forward or you can skip forwards. I'll show you what I mean by this. So first of all, here's the stepping forwards. we're going to go on to the defensive footwork so make sure that you are lunging with your racket leg okay whether that's right or left your racket leg that is the front leg where you're lunging on to do your defense just like the front court and the mid court okay. to practice your attacking and defending footwork you can combine them together and it should look a little bit like this you can play around with either stepping forwards or skipping forwards and for the forehand side you can play around with either changing your legs or not changing your legs it's up to you as to what you want to do but try to get natural at all of the different ones because you can use all of them when you are actually playing so let's get to work for this week let's try to practice a good 45 minutes to an hour on the rear court and for next week we're going to combine a few things together but let's do it and good luck <laughs> 